Today we're going to be trying out the new Heinz Dip and Crunch. That's the name, Dip and Crunch. Um, there's two versions. There's spicy sauce with potato crunchers and secret sauce with potato crunchers. So we'll try these out. We'll get a burger and dip them in here and see how good these actually are. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, we have the new Dip and Crunch from Heinz. The two different versions just rolled out in stores today. I found these at Walmart, so um, they were in the condiment aisle. Pretty small. I thought they were going to be bigger, be bigger when I saw them online. I just saw this on Instagram today, so I ran out the store and found it. So there you go. Check Walmart, Myers. I think they're all, there's, most of the stores are going to have them. I did go to Meyer first and they didn't have it yet, so I'm sure they'll be getting it out soon. Um, Kind of a weird product. Um, leave it in the comments below because I, until I saw this, I was like, wait, I've dipped my burger in say ketchup before. You know, maybe if there's not enough ketchup on the burger and I have some for my fries, I might dip it in there, you know, especially if the burger's a little dry. And okay, I see dipping in secret sauce or whatever. I haven't done that, but potato chips? I didn't know that was a thing. Leave it in the comments below. Is that something you do? Do you dip your burger in a sauce, whatever sauce you prefer, and then into potato chips? I don't, not saying it's bad. I just never thought of doing that. I have put potato chips on a hot dog occasionally. When I'm just in the mood, I have a hot dog, but I'm in the mood for a little crunch, I might break up some potato chips and put them on a hot dog. So I guess we'll do that on a burger too. All right, so let's try these out. I need to get a burger in here and we will do some dipping and some crunching. All right, so I got my cheeseburger here. And I know you're probably like, that's a sad looking cheeseburger. It is, it's one of those frozen cheeseburgers from Walmart that you just put in the microwave for a minute. That's all I had. It's not gonna ruin the taste test because I'll take a bite of that first and realize it's a garbage burger. It's still gonna taste like garbage, but will these add anything to the garbage burger as it is? All right, so let's go with, let's do the secret sauce and potato crunchers first, and then we'll do the spicy one. And these were $2.48 a piece. So I guess the question would be is if you like doing this, are you gonna spend, you know, $2.48 every time you wanna do this? Why not just buy a bottle of the secret sauce and a bag of potato chips and just put them on a plate? It'd probably be cheaper. But I guess if you don't wanna do that, they have it pre-made for you. So we have the crunch on one side and then the dip on the other side. And it tells you first dip and then crunch, okay. Clearly, it's like a one-time use thing, unless you're gonna transfer it to a different plate. Because once you dip in here, then you, you're gonna have cross-contamination, sauce is gonna be in there, and the rest of these chips are gonna go everywhere and they're gonna get soft. So you can see they're finely grated, crunched up chips. Okay, so let's just get a taste of this garbage burger first. The Walmart frozen burger, delicious. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, it's not as good as a burger you're gonna get from a restaurant or make yourself. But for like a buck and to heat it up in like a minute, sometimes, I mean, I have them occasionally. I know they're not great, but sometimes it's just easy to do and quick and fast and cheap. All right, so let's get some sauce and then dip it in some chips. It definitely adds to this burger, makes it so much better. That's not bad. I'm, like I said, I've never put potato chips on my burger. And it's not like you're really tasting those because you got the taste of the burger. You got the taste of the secret sauce. The chips just add crunch to it. It actually makes it kind of nice. That's, I'm gonna go for another dip. And some more chips, get some lots of chips on there. I'm liking this part better than this. Let me just try a little. That secret sauce, it's just kind of plain, kind of blah. Like there's, I 
I was thinking it was gonna be like a Thousand Island, like like a Big Mac secret sauce. Not much going on there. So hopefully the spicy one is better. I could probably just use the same chips instead of reopening another thing of chips. Because actually I'm looking at it and I thought, you know, the sauce would be all over. It's not, like it's just, the sauce was just on the chips that I got and they're on the burger. So I will reuse those chips for this one and keep this one closed. And the other thing, well, apparently they do just plan on you using this for one sandwich and that's it because like these are pull off top so you can't reseal it and you know, if you don't use it all and save it. So it's a one time use, $2.50. Like I said, it's just gonna be cheaper just to buy a bottle of whatever your favorite sauce is and a bag of chips. See definitely a different in co difference in color between the spicy and the regular. Okay, bunch of that spicy. Hopefully this is very spicy. Not soup. I mean, has more flavor than the secret sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. More flavor. It's not a good sauce at all. Like I like the heat. I'm getting heat on the tongue, but I don't like the taste of that one. I almost want to go back to the original. Let me try that one again. Yeah, this doesn't have the most flavor, but now that I've had the spicy one and going back to that one, I'm liking the secret sauce better than, let me try the spicy one more time. Just, just something, I like the heat in it, but there's something about that taste on there that just isn't that good. Leave it in the comments below. One, if you've tried these, what do you think of them? And these sauces, like the secret sauce, the Heinz, I haven't looked. I, I assume Heinz sells those in just bottles. Let me know in the comments below if they do. My thought on it is you could do this on your own for cheaper. Like I said, buy a bag of chips, buy your favorite sauce. Because these sauces I'm not liking, I would go with a different sauce. Whatever sauce you like at the store, maybe it's just ketchup or mustard or honey mustard or whatever spicy sauce. There is a decent amount of heat in there. I'm still, as I just took a swallow and I had that one, I can still feel some heat. Not super hot, but there is some spice in it, but the taste just isn't that good. Like there's better, spicier sauces out there that I think I would buy and do this just on my own. Just crunch up some chips and not buy this. You know what I should do? I should have a spoon in here to maybe put a little of the secret sauce in with the spicy to get a little mixture Let's try that. We'll combine the two. Because maybe the secret sauce will cover up the bad taste of the spicy one, but yet still get the heat from the spicy one. Mm hmm. Much better. Actually, that's a lot better there. Because the, the secret sauce kind of masks some of that weird taste that I'm getting from the spicy one, but I'm still getting the heat. So yeah, that's the way to go. Ah, it's a neat thing. Like I said, I've never thought of doing this before. Putting, ah, so messy in here now. I've never put chips on a burger before. So now I may have to start trying this more often. It's not bad. It adds a nice, decent crunch to the chips. I just won't buy these again. Like I said, I don't like the sauce. I don't like the, the taste of them. And it's just too expensive when you could just buy a big bag of chips for 250 and your bottle of sauce is probably 250 and you're gonna get how many burgers that you could do out of that, you know, a dozen or so, where this is good for one burger. So there you go. Leave in the comments below. If you've tried it, what do you think of it? I mean, I guess to try it out once, it's worth it, but 
I don't think I would have these in the cupboard, just a bunch of them, you know, whenever we have burger, hey, here you go. But maybe, I mean, it's, if the cost isn't a big deal, you're like, ah, 250, I'll do it every once in a while. I guess then it's handy to have them in the cupboard. But again, I guess try it out. See if you like those sauces. I mean, maybe if you buy those bottles of sauces already and you enjoy them, then you'd like these. I just don't care for them that much. There you go. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.